Hey guys, Chris here with The Good Old Gamer. So today, we actually have some good news. There's already been a fix for the Max Payne problem on Ryzen 3000. Looks like they were talking about my video. Somebody sat down and was able to figure this out already. All the other fixes that were out there, there was always some quirk. Like I even found a workaround to get the game going, but textures weren't working. And I was wondering if this fix would have the same problem, but I just tested this myself and it's working just fine. So I want to walk you through this particular fix. It is a little complicated, um, and that's partly due because there's a little error on the offset, or at least using the program that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this fixed up here real quick, so this way you can play Max Payne on your Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Okay, so starting off, obviously jump over here to Reddit, and a special shout out to Louis Golma. I believe that's how that's pronounced. Very, very good work here. This just came out a couple days ago. Somebody shot me an email, and uh, obviously I want to get this to you guys real quick. The big file that we need to fix is the rlmfc.dll, and you're going to need a hex editor program to do this. You can go online, HXD, it's a free hex editor program. You can download it from like CNET or download.com. Uh, that's what I used and it worked just fine. So what we need to do is start off by opening this up and opening the DLL file. Okay, so there it is right there, hit open. Okay, now we have to find the offset that he's talking about. And this is what took me a second because like I said, in this particular editor, it's coming off a little bit different. So he's got uh, 0x256ED. So let's scroll on down. Da, 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 da. Okay, so scrolling on down, we have 256E0. So that's actually the one that he meant. So I believe that's a typo, or like I said, perhaps in his editor, it came off a little bit different. But in here it is 256E0. And then he's got replace 83E0. 0F with 90-90-90. So if we take a look, go back to the line, it's all the way here at the end, 83-E-0-0-F. All right, so we just go in here, and then we just do 90-90-90, and then file, save. And that's it. That's all it really takes to get this up and running. You do have to download this program, edit the DLL, and you're good to go. Alrighty, since we're fixing Max Paint up, there's one other thing that you're going to need to do to run on Windows 10. You do need to fix the sound. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. They have this complete fix pack. I don't like some of the stuff that it does, so I prefer to just patch the sound myself. And this is pretty straightforward. You just take the sound patch, take the files, drag it into your directory, and run the Max Batch. It's gonna pop up with this, and all you have to do is just hit C to convert the game. And that's just gonna take a couple minutes to get that up and running. Once that's done, we're ready to play some Max Payne. And as you can see, we have no errors. The game just loads. It's kind of a weird load. I actually have to run up these stairs. I saved kind of awkward, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, that's it. And the game's running just fine. Um, like I said, I was able to load into this saved game without that DLL fix but it didn't work quite right. Textures were kind of turning pink and stuff all over the place. But as you can see, everything looks fine. The game runs fine. So this is the fix that we were waiting for and it came super fast. So I'm really glad I made that video and we got ourselves uh, you know, a fix here in just a couple of days after posting that video. So that's super awesome. Uh, considering a lot of the other posts on the Steam forums, they've been around for a while. So yeah, it's really excellent to see the community come together and get these old games up and running. So I really wasn't expecting a fix quite that fast, but everything is good to go. So so yeah, once again, big shout out to Louis Golma over there on Reddit for getting this figured out. He did it without even having a Ryzen 3000 CPU. He relied on other people to help him out with that. So thanks to everybody out there getting that up and running. So for all you guys out there with the new Zen 2 CPU, you can still enjoy some glorious Max Payne, as honestly, this is one of the most fun games to play during the winter season, at least here in the United States. For me, it just kind of goes well with the atmosphere out in a nice wintry snowstorm. So, alrighty guys, I just want to bring this to you real quick. Links for all that stuff's in the description below. And if you like this content, please hit that like button. Please subscribe, please share with friends. That really does help me out. That's all I have for today, and I will catch you guys in the next video.